Here we're gonna show you um, in this particular video, complete stages right the way through for restoring this leather footstool. It's a rather large footstool with a lifting end. So obviously you've got to identify what type of leather you've got first of all, so that you can understand what sort of process that you've got to go through with your restoration. You will obviously need some tools and equipment to do this. Um, we're using the red uh, scotch pads, which is the fine, ultra fine scotch pads. And we're using the leather repair company, Leather Prep. The Leather Prep is a solvent solution. And the purpose of doing this process is to wipe over the surface um, to remove all the color that's on the surface to allow the new dye to adhere. With this particular item, we are going to be changing the color from this cream to a denim blue. So it matches denim jeans. So it's a beautiful color that's gonna be going on there. So we've got to go through and obviously carry out the full process to remove all the surface color on there to ensure that that is, the new color is adhered properly and that it's bonded properly because you don't need cross linkers and you don't need adhesion promoters with our products because they're a professional product. They will take to the surface and they will stick and they will bond a lot better than other products that are out there on the market without all the additional expense of all these other chemicals to go in your paints to make them you know, work, hours work without all those additional items going in there. So they're perfectly safe to use. You can get all these products obviously on our website. We supply trade and retail. Um, people all around the world with stockists all over the world as well. So you can always get products from anywhere that you like you know, around the world to carry out your professional leather restoration jobs. This particular section shows you how prepping the leather properly should be done. As you can clearly see, most of the surface coating has been removed from the surface of this leather footstool to reveal the leather underneath so that the new dye can bond and adhere correctly to the new surface because we're changing the color to a denim blue shade. Once the item is obviously fully prepped, the next stage is to get the alcohol cleaner and wipe the entire surface over before you apply any paint. What this is obviously doing is doing any final degreasing to the surface and obviously removing any dirt, dust and other sort of grime that's on there that the prep stages haven't picked up. So it's very important that you obviously now go over and use the alcohol cleaner um, because sometimes you know you, you do touch the surface with your hands even though I've got gloves on here um, obviously grease from your fingers can soak into the leather because now you've removed all the dye and obviously the leather's absorbent so using the alcohol cleaner just completely sanitizes the whole surface and stops any problems with adhesion once the primer coat is going on and then the spray painting's taking place so we're obviously changing this from this subtle cream to a bespoke denim blue for the client to match their brand new suite. So obviously this has gone through the prep stages first of all. The next stage that we have to do is to ensure that we get all the new colorant going into all the join lines first of all. So we're going around all the edges on this particular item first of all, making sure that all the dye is going into all the join lines as you can clearly see, pushing all that into every sort of join line that you can see first of all. Once obviously we've got all the colorant into all those join lines, the next stage is obviously going to be sort of building the color up on the main sort of surfaces of the leather item. So that's what we've started now is building up all the color. And this is what we're doing here is we're not attempting to recolor the item at this stage. All we are doing is putting the primer coat on first of all. This is now changing the color of the leather and changing it to the denim blue. The next stage is obviously after this, once we've covered the whole of the item of this particular footstool, would be then to spray on the leather paint to finish off the denim blue transformation from this cream to the denim blue. So that would be the next stage would be to spray over the item to cover that with the spray paint, which you're going to see in the next clip.
So now that the item is obviously fully covered with its primer coat, the next stage that we do is we will grab one of our 800 grit um, sanding pads and then we're going to lightly sand over the whole of the surface, only very lightly with the sanding pad, just lightly go over the surface. What this is doing is removing any small particles of dust or imperfections that's got into the painted surface from putting the primer coat on. Once we've gone over and done that, we would then obviously blow all that off with the airline and the item is then ready to obviously be fully painted over with the spray gun using the Devilbis. We use the Devilbis um, SRI Pro Light. So we then spray that all over with the spray gun with the denim blue. And then obviously the job is completed. It's as simple as that. So, you know, that is the next stage. So sanding stage now, the grit paper and then the colouring. Now all the primer coat has obviously been sanded, the next stage is to start the spraying process. So first of all, we're gonna go around and put a, an initial thin coating on the surface, trying to get into all of the lines uh, where we've obviously got all the dye into all the joining lines, first of all. And once we've done that, we'll then start to build the color up on the main flat surfaces of this leather footstool. This will obviously be done several times to slowly build the layers up. As you can clearly see that, you know, the transformation is already taking place on the smaller sort of side. And then once we've done that, we'll then get all the sides of the actual item done and then start to build the main top area on the bigger cushion, as you can see here. So we start to then proceed to spray on the paint, the, the denim blue dye, and actually make the full transformation from the cream to the denim blue. So that it is a very simple sort of process to do. And as you can clearly see there, the dye is now covering all of the cream over and completely transforming that leather footstool to a brand new color to match the client's bespoke denim blue suite. And this is the footstool, now fully changed its colour to the bespoke denim blue colour to match the client's brand new leather suede. So as you can clearly see, it's an amazing transformation from the subtle cream to this beautiful bespoke denim blue jean colour. 